Are you over 50 years old and looking for some simple exercises that you can use for stronger legs? If you are, then this video is going to show you exactly what to do. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the Over 50s Specialist Physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be giving you three excellent exercises you can use with just your body weight to get stronger legs this year. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to the channel because then you'll be the first to get our new videos when they come out. And we've got loads coming up for how to build tough, strong legs, how to improve your mobility and your flexibility as well. So subscribe and you'll be the first to hear about them. Now that that's been said, let's talk about three great exercises you can use to build stronger legs. Now, when I speak to people in the clinic, they often think, oh, I should go and get a gym membership if I want to get stronger legs. That's, that's the only way. And that is a myth. You do not need a gym membership to get stronger legs. I can show you exactly how to do it with just the weight of your body and nothing else. So we'll do that in a moment. The other myth is that just by walking, you're going to get strong legs. That's not really true. Walking does provide some strength to the legs. But to get your legs strong enough to protect your joints, like your hips and your knees, you're going to need to do something extra. You're going to need to do a little bit more. We have to train the muscles in a different way to build strength. And walking doesn't tick all of the boxes. So walking is important, but it's not the be all and end all. Luckily, in just five or 10 minutes a day, you can have profoundly stronger legs in a, as little as six to eight weeks. Just follow this simple program as long as it's safe for you personally to do so. And I promise you, you'll start to see results very quickly. You'll feel better walking. You'll feel better on stairs. You'll be getting up and down from chairs easier and lots of other things as well, which will make you safer on your feet and happier overall. So now that that's been said, let's have a look at these three exercises. You can have a go at them. Give them a try over a period of six to eight weeks. Do them daily if you can and you'll have much stronger legs at the end of it. So I'm gonna give you three exercises that you can use and you don't need any kit other than just your body weight and a chair. So let's have a look at these exercises. We're gonna give them a go now and then you can have a go at them at home. So the first exercise is one I just call slow sit to stand. And this is an absolute mainstay exercise. It's something we do all the time. Uh, in our general life, but if we're not very good at it, we tend to lose strength very quickly. And there's ways to compensate as well. So if you're not strong, you tend to stay weak and it doesn't improve on its own. So it needs some practice. So the sit to stand exercise is basically just getting up and down from a chair and it works two very important muscle groups. The first muscle group it works are these muscles here, at the front of the thigh called the quadriceps. And these muscles are responsible for keeping your knee straight when you stand and you walk. So a very, very important muscle group. The second muscle group that this exercise works is the gluteals. And these are the gluteals here at the back. And these are responsible for protecting your hip. They're also responsible for the alignment of your legs when you walk. So they have a very protective effect over the knee when they're nice and strong. So this exercise ticks both boxes. And in fact, if you had to just pick one exercise, this would be the one I would do. So let me show you how this exercise works. So what you need to do is you need to find a chair, which is like a dining room chair, nice and stable, nice and sturdy and high enough so that your legs are about 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands out of the equation by just putting our hands across our chest. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our feet are tucked just underneath us, so they're underneath our knees. And then we're gonna lean forward and push up and stand up straight. So that's the easy part. Now the hard part of this exercise, and this is the bit where we actually get our benefit, is we're gonna go back down to the chair very, very slowly. So I leant forward and now I'm bending my knees and my goal is to keep the speed of the movement consistent all the way down. And that's actually quite hard to do. So I'll show you again. So we come forward and up nice and quickly. This is where we get our power. And then on the way back down, we lean forward and bend the knees. 
And what we're looking for is about four seconds from top to bottom. And what I like to tell people in the clinic is when they land on the chair, we want it to be completely silent. So you should be landing like a feather. We shouldn't hear the chair creak. We shouldn't hear a big drop down onto the chair. It should be really nicely controlled. And after about three or four repetitions, you're going to start to notice that these muscles here are working. You're going to feel a bit tired in these muscles. And as you get tired, it's going to be more difficult to control the last few inches of that movement. And that's when the improvements kick in. So you have to keep going. You have to take it to the point of tiredness. And that is where you'll get an improvement. So that's the first exercise. I usually recommend people start off with doing five repetitions, possibly three times over. So three sets of five. And then you can build up from there. And it's a great exercise for strength in your legs. Now, the second exercise for stronger legs that I recommend to people is something I call the single leg dip. Now, the single leg dip is similar to the sit to stand in that it works similar muscles. So the muscles you'll work are the thighs at the front and the glutes at the back. But the single leg dip is an important exercise because it puts us onto one leg. And the reason we want to go just onto one leg is because when we're doing sit to stands and we're using two legs, what we might find in most people is that one side is actually stronger than the other. So if they weren't being cognizant of that, what usually happens is 60% of the work is happening on one and 40% is happening on the other, which means that we end up with an imbalance. Okay, And that's it's very normal for people to have imbalances, but if we can fix them, it makes perfect sense to do so. So what we're going to do is for the single leg dip, we're going to find somewhere that we can just hold on to. So you can use the same dining room chair that you used before, and you're just going to put your fingers on the back of it just as a bit of support. And once you've got your chair that's going to give you a little bit of support, you're just going to go onto one leg. Now what we're going to do now is we're just going to drop down by bending forward and bending the knee just about six inches and then come back up like that. So that's the single leg dip. It's very simple. It's only a small movement on the way down. And what we're trying really hard to do here is we're trying to keep our pelvis level. Okay, this is very important. If you don't keep your pelvis level, what happens is it drops down to one side and we don't work the right muscles at all. We actually strain the hip and the knee. So you keep your pelvis completely level. Now, when I do about 10 or 15 of these in a row, what I start to feel is a tiredness here in the thigh and a tiredness here in the buttock. And the thigh is obviously helping us to, to bend the knee and bring it back up. But the buttock is what's responsible for keeping the pelvis level. So these are very, very important muscles. And they actually work, this exercise actually works the gluteal muscles in the buttock harder than the sit to stand. Because we've got you just on one leg, we also get better single side stability. If you just work sit to stand and you don't do this, we end up with more bias on the right possibly than the left or more on the left than the right, which means you have an imbalance, which is not a good position to be in. So by doing this exercise, we can solve imbalances because we're working the left and the right equally. So what I recommend to most people is they do 10 or 15 on the right, 10 or 15 on the left, have a pause and then repeat that process twice more. So for a total of three sets per day. Now the third and final exercise I'm going to give you for stronger legs is something to strengthen your calves, which are these muscles down here in the lower part of the leg. Now the calves are very important. They do a big contraction when we take a step. So every time we walk and take a step, the calf has to contract to propel us forward. So if you don't have strong calves, you can't walk very well at all. So let's have a look at a calf exercise that you can use, the third exercise for stronger legs. And again, we're just going to use this chair, the one that we were using before, just for a bit of stability. So again, we're going to stand up nice and tall. We want nice straight legs and a straight back, just holding on for a bit of support. What we're going to do is we're just going to go up onto our tiptoes as high as we can, really squeeze the calves at the top, 
hopefully you'll have somewhere that you can still hold on to and then slowly lower yourself back down. So it's as simple as that. We call this a heel raise. So we go up onto tiptoes, hold for a second and then back down. Now, what we recommend people do is they just keep going until they get an achiness in their calves as, as if they've worked pretty hard. And this is a great way to get your calves stronger. Now, if you can do more than 20 of these in a row and not get an ache, you probably need something just a little bit harder. So for people in that situation, what they can do is they can go up on two, take one away and just come down on one. That's one way to make it harder. So up on two, down on one, up on two, down on one. Or alternatively, for people who are even stronger, they can do up on one, down on one, up on one, down on one. Obviously, that's much tougher. But if you've got nice, strong cars, if you do a lot of walking, then that might be better for you. So what we recommend people do with that is you do somewhere between 10 and 20 in a row of these calf raises, whichever one works best for you. And you do that three times over each day. So nine sets of exercises, just those three, so three of each, that is enough for much stronger legs in a period of, as short as just six to eight weeks. Give those a try and see how you get on at the end of it. So those are the three exercises I would recommend for stronger legs this year. As I said to you before, you're going to see results in as little as six to eight weeks. It doesn't take forever. You'll notice you're, that you're better on stairs, you're better walking. Just do these as many as I've prescribed here, as many as you feel able to do, and you'll find huge results in a very short period of time. Anyway, I hope that's made sense. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do leave me a comment below because I love to read the comments that people leave. And if you want more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50, and it has loads more exercises just like these to get you nice and strong all over the body. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel because we've got more strengthening exercise videos on the channel already and coming up this year. So I hope that's all made sense. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.